two souls cry out to one another from across the ether, not when they are ready, but when it is time. My soul knew yours, and I think only now I am starting to remember. Someone is shaking me awake, and I feel as though I'm losing my consciousness, but really, I am beginning to awaken for the first time. What a dream of a life it's been without you, aware of you, beyond sight and touch for so long, my mind is struggling to wrap itself around the physical form and presence of the musings concocted by my imagination. I thought I had made you up to deceive myself into believing maybe I wasn't here alone. Now, here you are. My realities are fantasies, and my fantasies are realities. Your brilliance has flooded my vision, but my eyes are adjusting to the light. Twin flame awakening. That is an excerpt from a poem that I posted on my Instagram accounts, which by the way is at magnetize yourself for those of you who would like to follow me there. But I do feel that twin flame awakening is an experience that so transcends physical language that it is challenging to find the words to describe it. Those of you who have been through it know, and nearly all of you who will be drawn to this video have either gone through the intense experience of awakening as a twin soul in this lifetime, or for some of you, this is something you're still going through at this very moment in time. So in this podcast episode, I am going to be sharing about twin flame awakening, what it feels like, how it occurs, and what to expect as a twin flame going through this awakening process. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. If you are a twin flame or you suspect yourself to be on a twin flame path, also, be sure to subscribe to this channel because here in this beautiful space on YouTube, we are creating a high vibrational form of community together, a collective here together, and I would love for you to be part of that. Also, do be aware that I post twin flame reading videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be sure to explore those as well. Twin flames live and exist unconsciously like most of the planet does prior to awakening. The unique thing about a twin flame soul awakening that sets it apart from other forms of spiritual awakening is that twin flames specialize in shifting the paradigm of planet earth around love and relationship. Everyone who experiences some kind of spiritual awakening does so for a reason. On a soul level, they elect to shift collective consciousness in a particular way. And as souls, we usually choose these specializations that could almost be thought of as schools 
on this eternal plane, on this spiritual plane. Schools of specialization in between lifetimes where we plan out what we are going to experience in the next physical lifetime and what we intend to learn, how we intend to grow or expand as a soul. Now, the interesting thing about twin flames is that most twin flames, especially in past eras of planet Earth, go through life highly unconsciously because all of nature contains within it this polarity. As twin flames, we experience this as the masculine and the feminine. All souls, like all of creation, have polarity, have masculine or feminine counterpart souls. And many of these souls will be simultaneously incarnated on physical earth with their twin flame counterparts. However, the difference between being or having a twin flame and being on a twin flame path or a twin flame journey is that if you are on a twin flame journey or path, you will consciously awaken in this lifetime to the presence of your twin flame counterparts on this planet because you intend on a soul level to connect with this individual, with this other soul, your counterpart soul, in ways that will be like, will act as a vehicle to catalyze, to speed up your spiritual expansion. It's like a crash course in learning and unlearning so many paradigms as a twin flame soul. If you were drawn to this video and you are someone who resonates with the idea of twin flames, you not only are a twin flame or have a twin flame, but unlike most of the unconscious collective consciousness, unconscious humanity, you also have elected as a soul to experience a twin flame path, meaning to undergo this twin flame awakening in connection with your counterparts. What does this mean? Well, first of all, this means that you are likely a very, very ancient soul because the twin flame path has many layers of complexity. And because of this, typically this is a path that's only souls who have experienced many different perspectives, ways of being, lifetimes, etc. will choose to experience this twin flame path in life. It's a very advanced soul path because not only are you experiencing an individual level spiritual awakening, which is challenging in and of itself and not to be underestimated, but as another layer of complexity on top of that spiritual awakening, you are awakening in connection with your counterpart soul here incarnated on this planet in this lifetime with you. And because of that, you are not only waking up from a way of being and existing in this physical world, but also a way of being in love and relationships. Specifically, you are shifting from a paradigm of highly conditional, highly transactional love, the paradigm of love that most of the unconscious planets is fully submerged within, you are shifting from that to 
a completely brand new and widely misunderstood concept of love and connection that is very open, that is very free, that is not based on condition or restriction or control, but is based on freedom and mutual support and self-love that naturally radiates outwards in the form of love expressed to others as well, but with no conditions attached to that beautiful, loving expression of energy. So unawakened twin souls will still have a degree of awareness of one another because frankly, it would be impossible to exist on this planet incarnated with your twin flame counterparts and not feel since their presence to some degree. However, unawakened twin souls will sense one another much in the same way that someone who is living from a very rational minded perspective, a very ego based perspective may have this kind of vague sense of the spiritual realm that that something else exists above everything, something that transcends logic, but they just can't quite grasp a hold of it or really make sense of it. So they may dismiss it as fantasy. The same is very much true for unawakened twin souls. They will feel one another, but they may reject or dismiss their thoughts or feelings about their counterpart as some kind of fantasy or delusion. In fact, in lives past, you listening to this video, yes, even you who are clearly awakened to your twin flame path may have chosen in past lifetimes to experience a life where you and your twin were both incarnated simultaneously and yet never crossed paths, never experienced the twin flame journey in this kind of conscious way that you are now in this lifetime. Now, technically speaking, both twin flame counterparts experience twin flame awakening at the same moment simultaneously, which very often is their point of contact in the physical world. This could happen virtually, but typically happens physically when they are in one another's physical vicinity, physical presence in some way. But regardless of whether it happens physically or at a distance, when two twin flames consciously perceive one another, become aware of one another, and are present with one another either virtually or physically in a conscious way, this results in a profound transference of energy between them that is often referred to as a twin flame energy merge. Now, spiritual awakening itself is nothing more or less than raising our frequency, raising our vibration, and therefore raising our consciousness, lifting us up from this state of being asleep, being unawakened to heightened consciousness where we are awake, our eyes are open to the spiritual truths of ourselves, our life, and the universe more broadly. For twin flames, however, we are energetically interconnected with this other soul as our counterpart soul. This means that when we are aware of one another consciously, we transfer huge amounts of energy to one another through this more conscious connection that we are experiencing. And after this point of contact, each twin then begins to undergo their awakening process. The reason that many people 
will say that the divine feminine awakens first isn't because the feminine counterpart literally begins this awakening process chronologically sooner than the masculine, but because she tends to metabolize this spiritual energy a lot more quickly. So it appears as though from a 3D perspective, the feminine is awakening faster. The truth is that both twin flame counterparts experience their awakening in connection with the other. They spark this awakening within one another. However, the divine masculine chooses a more physically oriented 3D based perspective in this lifetime. And because of the density of his worldview, of his paradigm, and therefore his energy field, it takes longer for this influx of energy to work through his being, raise his vibration, and show more visible effects of that raising of consciousness, that raising of frequency, that awakening process. Whereas the feminine chooses a more 5D, a more spiritually oriented perspective in this lifetime. So it is much easier for her with typically a much more spiritually oriented, less dense world perspective and worldview, it is easier for the feminine to then absorb and allow the flow of this newfound energy influx to raise her vibration much more quickly. But regardless, both twins always work in connection with one another. They are always energetically supporting one another through this awakening process at the energetic level. When one twin shifts, heals, or expands their energy in a certain way, the other twin reflects this change because, as the name suggests, they are twin souls or sometimes even referred to as mirror souls. They mirror one another's energy. This means that as this awakening process continues, this process of metabolizing this energy, integrating this energy, clearing through energetic blocks, preventing this raising of one's consciousness, this requires us to really take a look at feelings of being triggered in some kind of a negative way throughout our awakening process as twin flames. And this is because anytime we consciously experience these negative feelings or thoughts or emotions, what we are really experiencing is the tension, the tension between this powerful flow of energy trying to work its way through our being, through this awakening, trying to raise our frequency further, coming up against a wall and this wall is some kind of a block a limiting belief or a negative habit of thinking that has become deeply ingrained into our energy field to assist you in releasing these energetic blocks along your twin flame awakening journey i've created a powerful twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal this subliminal works through each of the seven chakras in your energy body addressing any potential blockages or limiting beliefs through subliminal affirmations which are incredibly effective because unlike traditional spoken affirmations Subliminal affirmations bypass the conscious filter of the mind and sink directly and deeply into the subconscious mind, which actually controls 95% of our thoughts, our frequency, and therefore our energy field. So utilizing subliminals as a sound therapy tool on a daily basis is a really, really powerful way to re program your entire subconscious mind, uproot limiting beliefs, and essentially magnetize your energy 
in this case for deeper connection with your twin flame because as you clear out these blocks limiting belief patterns and negative paradigms within your subconscious you are clearing out these energy blocks in a way that your twin flame will unconsciously feel and respond to as well it's the beautiful thing about twin flame connection this energetic connectedness and therefore inherent energetic supports of one another so this twin flame seven chakra clearing comes from my website soundandsoulful.com where i have over 100 subliminals for all areas of life so you can try it out completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website and all of that information is linked in the pinned comment and description box under this video I could say so much more about Twin Flame Awakening because like every topic surrounding Twin Flame Connection, there is so much to be discussed here. So do let me know if you enjoyed this podcast, if anything resonated with you, and if there's anything else you would like to hear on this channel so you can let me know about that in the comments under this video be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't yet join our beautiful collective of twin souls and like-minded creative beings here on youtube have a wonderful beautiful rest of your day and i will talk to you again in the next podcast